Hey guys, Grimnar here, and let's talk theory. Now obviously I'm not in charge of 343 Industries, but if I were, for some weird reason, 343 said Logan Grimnar 112, you are now in charge. Any decision you make will be implemented and permanent so long as you reign. What would I do? Firstly, I would approve of the ball modes for Halo 5, Th this is all for Halo 5. I would create an objective playlist, including Oddball, CTF, Strongholds, Ricochet, and Assault. I would be skeptical about adding Griffball to the playlist. You know what, I think I got it. Griffball should be its own playlist, along with Turkey Bowl and other sports-like games. I would remove the free-for-all playlist and swap it out for Team Doubles. Being that Strongholds and CTF are now in two playlists, being Team Slayer and Objective, I would remove them from the Team Slayer and change all the maps in that playlist, the Team Slayer playlist, to Community Force maps. Switching up the maps to play every month to allow exceptional variation and give a greater number of Forgers to have their creations in matchmaking. I feel that this will increase the player interest and Forger interest with being only around for a short monthly basis, as well as encouraging more competitive Forge maps. I also think it would be a good idea to have notable members of the Forge community, like Psychoduck, Duquesne, the Halo Forge Epidemic, and others decide which maps make it in to matchmaking. As I am modifying current playlists, I would also change the breakout back to the beta, removing all the power weapons and power ups, along with that darn flag keeping only a BR and a cache of grenades, as in the beta they were essentially the power weapons. I would also introduce invasion to Warzone. I would swap power weapons on maps, notably the Plasma Caster on Truth, and the Close Quarters Orgy that Overgrowth has going for it. Jeez, that's a mess. <laughs> of course I would bring Infection or Flood into matchmaking, with its own playlist. Frankly, I don't care what they name it, I just would have it as uh, grotesque infested Spartans with enhanced speed, weakened shields, and a one-shot close combat weapon against brightly colored Spartans with the pistol-shotgun combo. I might be open to a single power-up on the maps for this as well. So what is that now? Four new playlists, three in Arena and one in Warzone, along with modifying and swapping four playlists? Not bad. <laughs> um, I would be hesitant about bringing back Action Sack into matchmaking. I know personally I love the playlist, with the exception of Husky Raid. God, that was like an infection to that playlist. Like some minor disease. But anyway, I would be hesitant about it because with the new playlists, Objective, Community Slayer, Classic Breakout, Halo Sports, and Infection slash Flood, I don't think that there would be enough need or desire for it to be in matchmaking. So that's what I would change in matchmaking. On to weapons. I personally feel that the weapons in Halo 5 are a masterpiece in terms of balance and functionality. There is not a single weapon that I have not at some point picked up and used with great effect. Excluding the plasma cast. I would either tune it or eliminate it. And as for vehicles, I believe that every vehicle should have the potential for a degree of kills. Meaning that I think a Gungoose should get more kills than an Infantryman. Likewise, a tank should get more kills than a Gungoose. The balance like this is again achieved very well by 343, with exception to the Mantis. I would either make it move faster or be able to take more damage. Probably the latter, actually, thinking about now. Other than that, I would say that the balance is good. On to community involvement. Again, 343 is already good at this. I would just propose a little more of it with a monthly podcast in which notable community leaders like Bravo and Unishek answer and debate questions addressed to 343 around the internet, as well as introducing a file share feature so the community can share maps, gameplays, and game variants, which is desperately needed in Halo 5. Oh, forgot to mention that I would keep the weekend playlist. In fact, even better, I would make it the game types that would be seen in Action Sack. Stuff like Team Snipers, Rock and Rail, 
Ninja Assassins, Metal Madness, Gun Game, Rocket Race. Oh man, we could have fun with Rocket Race. <laughs> and other massively fun casual game types. On the more competitive level, I would create more professional tournaments, including a pro doubles tournament, and casual tournaments introduced into matchmaking for non-pros with smaller prizes. Maybe a couple of free gold or premium rec packs. I think this would also encourage the tournament Halo scene, along with help pro teams scout new talent. What else would I do? I cannot think of anything else. Uh, the other things are the things that 343 is already doing. I will keep the Sprint series going, the Hunt the Truth series going. Oh, I would change the purchasable gold bundle rec packs to rec point unlockable as well. If it were possible, I would make Prometheans playable in matchmaking, like former Halos did with Elites. And again, if possible, I would create a greater amount of customization, like that of Reach. Reach really does not get enough credit in my opinion. Great customization, great campaign, great weapon choices slash innovations. Needle rifle, grenade launcher, oh that grenade launcher, that would be so nice to have back. <laughs> Alright, uh, bringing it back to topic. Unfortunately, these two changes I don't believe are possible for Halo 5. That being said, I would certainly try to implement them for Halo 6, along with split screen. But that's a video for another day. So what did you think of the changes I would make? Would these be better or worse changes? Naturally, these are all my opinions, and therefore I will not apologize for any of them. But I'm sure that being in charge of 343 Industries is not that easy. And all in all, they have created a great game in Halo 5.